<clears throat> uh, wonderful welcome welcome wonderful people this is mr the visitor uh, once again and uh, this time we are going to try and fit everything that we have learned together and see what kind of an app that we can come up with so we will be looking at a loan we are going to look at the demonstration of a loan the attributes of a class and how we can modify some of the things inside of this uh, loan so one most important thing that we will do we will create a general loan class that holds the data pertaining to this loan class and uh, we will have a loan number we will have the customer name and the amount of money that is borrowed right so this is exactly what we will do so the question is how do we do it <clears throat> it is very very important that we we understand exactly how things are happening here okay that is fine no problem with that right so the very first thing that we will do we will create a class and uh, when i click up here and i add uh, a new item uh, what you can do because this is going to be a class we can just click on a class here we are we will deal with the sql as as time goes on and application configuration files and many of these things right and then we will just come here and what we will do when we are here we will create a class <clears throat> and this class will be known as the load and there it is it is our class and then when you click on add it will add that class so uh, that is fine let's just wait for it to load up here we are we have a class so i will just take the brackets for uh, understanding purposes so inside of this class that i have we will uh, we will look at some few things uh, we will have uh, properties that are always public as you know so we will have a public int it's a property and we will call this a loan number and i will use automatic properties here i will have a get and i will also have a set very very important so this is an auto <coughs> uh property and then another one that i will have i will just copy this and i will paste two times now remember what we said on the the previous page we said that we will create a loan number a customer name and the amount borrowed so these are just the properties that we will create so let's just create we have already found the first one which is the loan number let's have uh, a public but this one will be a string and uh, we will call this one the last name this will be the last name and then lastly we will have a loan amount loan amount right these are the public properties that i have and let's just make this one a double let's make this one a double right once that has been done uh, having created a class which contains a three auto uh, implemented properties uh the next thing that we will do uh we will just have a a class object inside of the main and then uh, we will set each field and just display the results this is exactly what we will do so that we follow correctly what is happening here so i will just end the main i will just end the class 
and I will just end the name space. All right. So I will go inside of the main and uh, I can just say the class of this. Okay, let me just leave the class, the name as it is. I can just come here and try to create the object of the loan. So I will have a loan and I will call this uh, a loan. And this will be equals to new uh, loan. Right now remember i did not create a constructor so a default constructor will be provided for me which initializes uh, whatever that is inside of here with zero values if they are <coughs> uh, integers right that's fine and then what we will do once we have done that we have just created what we have just created uh, an object of the loan so one most important thing that i will do i'm just going to display the values which is a loan and then when i say the dot here that we can see that we have access to three properties the last name loan amount and the loan number so i will just go there and say the loan number and then just assign it a value because there are no restrictions inside of this property i will just assign this value to that <clears throat> and then i will go and say a loan uh, dot uh, last name remember it accepts a string and i will just say this is papa uh, fanzo papa fanzito very important and then i will just say a loan and dot and i will have the loan amount remember it's of type double and i will just say this is a thousand okay everything seems to work very fine there is no problem with this and uh, what i can do is just to have uh, using static system dot console so if you have been following these tutorials you know exactly why we need this or uh, this uh, import right now we can continue in here and we can just have a right line that just displays the values that we have so we can have a right line and we can just say this is a loan for at pos i'm going to use placeholders uh zero for uh one uh is for this amount right that it's fine and then at position zero i want to have uh, a loan dot uh loan number very good comma a loan dot and i want to have the last name a loan dot and i have i want the loan amount right and this is all what i have and everything is fine no problem with this i can just press uh, enter and move to a new line and what I can do, I can just run this code, control F5, and just see how things will work out for me. So this is just the demonstration of how this class works. And when we run this, we have uh, the following let me just bring everything closer to your face uh loan for 2239 for papa fanzo is for a thousand rent and you can just uh say here loan uh you can just say dot to string and just have uh, the sorry and just have uh, the currency printed out with the amount okay sorry no let me just add 
a bracket to that side and then just run this code and see if things will go just fine i'm just adding the currency symbol to the loan amount and there we we have it we have uh, a value of ten thousand there it is so loan for two two three nine for papa fanzo is for that very good so this is the output we don't have a problem with this so one thing very important that we need to learn from here uh we needed not to have fields in order to do whatever that needed to be done here just having auto implemented properties everything will just run fine this is very important that you note these things these small powerful things makes an atm not to uh withdraw money when you have zero zero so do not underestimate these small things you know exactly when you have zero zero on your account you'll never get a cent because of these gets and sets very important stuff right now that's fine we are we are here we have ran and see that everything is working fine no problem we were happy with the demonstration and everything that has transpired right now let's continue now now we want to extend this class this loan class so next what we will do we will create a class that we will call a car loan so i will come here i will just add a new item and i know it's a class look at the highlight and when you see dot cs this is just an abbreviation for class sorry and then when i am here i can have this new class which is a car load this is my class and then when you press enter everything is working fine let's just end the class and let's just end the namespace now car load will inherit from a load will inherit from a loan now what do we know when car loan inherits from the loan we know that it will have access to all the public fields it will be as if this loan number this last name and this loan amount was inside it will be as if they were uh, declared inside of the car loan very important stuff reusability is the principle of inheritance right now that we have created this uh, new class that we have extended uh, a, a loan from now one thing that we will do we need to note that a car loan is a type of a loan so a car loan is a loan so whenever there is this is a then you know that it is inheritance inheritance uh, transpires uh, is a relationship and has a is containment but we will deal with all these things let's take the lecture uh, bit by bit uh, bit by bit right we are therefore saying a car loan is a type of a loan very important right as such it has all the attributes of the loan this is true we have said the car loan whatever the attributes there are all the public fields and methods please note that only those that are public all the attributes inside of the loan that are public they will be as if they were originally here because they are inherited you know sometimes when i think of inheritance and i look back into my life and i say to myself if it was a possibility uh, that I, I got to choose during me coming to this world uh, in fact when 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 the racing was happening inside of a woman these uh, things are rushing towards the egg 
I wish I could choose which attributes of the mother and the father that I needed. I wish that was a possibility. But it becomes a possibility when it comes to one having moral choices and everything. Let me not preach. Let me not preach, guys. We are, we are in a car loan. Right, let us continue with this. So it has no choice. It has no choice. Just as I did not have a choice during, uh, you know, the excitement between two people. I never had a choice. So the car loan has no choice but to adopt this. It has no choice. By inheritance, it will have this. The loan number, the last name, and the loan amount. Because they are public. But what I love about all this is that the car loan can, can maybe set restrictions as to how things should happen when it comes to them. This is, this is something like, like human beings happening here. But you will see exactly what I am referring to. So we have this car loan. And this car loan is a type of a loan. And then as such, it has all the attributes of the loan. It has all the public fields and members and methods that are inside of the loan. These are the attributes. Hi, Papa Fanzo. Attributes. Right. But now, inside of this car loan, Let's add some few fields that belongs to the car loan on its own. Now, we will have these auto-implemented properties again. They will be public because properties are public. It will be of type int. It will, oh, sorry. Uh, it's public. Jesus, public. It will be what is happening here? Oh, I have I have I have done a mistake. Sorry. It will be a public int living God. What is happening here? Guys, did I do something wrong here? I have a car loan. This is the opening and close okay sorry so here we are we have a public it will be uh, of type int and this will be the year and it's an auto implemented property so we will have this get and we will have this set for what now for a year all right be that as it may and then one thing that we will have again it's a public and uh, it's a string and we will call this the make and it will have the get and the set okay that is fine we are more than happy with that now one thing that we have dealt with what have we done here we have created a car loan which has a year and a make of the car that the customer is using as a collateral for the loan. Therefore, a car loan is a subclass of the loan or it is a what now? Remember, we can say it is a subclass. If it is a subclass, therefore the loan is the superclass. Or we can say this is the parent and this is the child, uh, the child, right? So we can say this one is a base from which all the children will inherit from. Okay, that is fine. That is fine. Nothing new with this. And what I can do, I can go to the main again because those are the only two things. Those are the only two things that I needed inside of the car loan. The car loan has a year and has a make and they are properties and they are public. And they have both a get and a set. Very important. So I can come here inside of the main. And when I am inside of the main, I can create an object of the car loan. 
Kaloon. Uh, and I can call this uh, Kaloon. And I can say a Kaloon. I can say a Kaloon. And this is equals to new uh, Kaloon. Now it is complaining. And it is saying that Kaloon is a namespace, but it is used like a method. Let's go and check. So this is uh, end the namespace and this is the beginning and the ending of a class and we have a namespace car low sorry let me go here we are in a car low so this oh sorry you see it cannot differentiate there so let me look at the namespace in here no let me just rename this uh, let me just rename this and say uh, the namespace here is a car low. Enter. Right, and then when I go to the main here, there it is. So what I can do uh, inside of my main here and then everything is now working just fine there is no problem anymore all right that is fine so i was just differentiating between the namespace and the name of a class right now let me check whether did i not make any mistakes so it's a car loan come here a car loan so the namespace in here it's car loan and then in here we have a car low okay that is fine now one thing i can do when i am inside of this main i can uh now after uh after the three uh properties of uh, the car then what I'm going to do now, I am going to insert uh, the last two ones. So I'm going to say a car loan. Remember, I have already created the object dot. And then I need to add two things. I will add the make. And remember, it's a string. And this will be a, let's just say it's a Ford. A car loan dot and remember i also need a year and the year will be maybe 2005 very important so that is fine there's nothing mysterious about this i was inside of the car loan i had two properties and they were public and then i'm just adding them here and then one thing once that has been done I can just have uh, a right line. Uh, I can just have a right line. And uh, in this right line, what I can just simply do is to say, in fact, I don't have to add this. I can just copy this. And I can just paste this. And then what I can do now, I can just modify some few things. Now, remember, uh, the few things that I can modify. Now, when I created a car loan object, let me take you here. It now has how many things? Five of them. It now has five things. But what I'm going to do in this main all that i'm going to do now is to uh just to display a few things now i know i already have the display for the loan number the last name and the loan amount so i'm just going to display just two things here and the two things that i'm going to display is uh the make and the year these are the first most important things that i'm going to do or what i can choose to do 
is the following. I can say loan. Let me just have a hashtag there. And let me just have a hashtag there. Right, that is fine. Nothing mysterious. So one thing that I can do there i can just at position zero i can have the loan number and then i can have the last name and then i can have the loan amount that it's fine i don't have a problem with this so here remember we have this so this is to say just uh, insert the currency for me so i can just specify uh the number of decimals i can say c2 or i can say c3 nothing wrong with that right that is fine so one thing that i want to do now i want to display the make and the year so this is just one thing that i'm going to do so i'm just going to display uh in this one inside of a car loan so i'm going to come here and when i'm there i'm going to say a car loan dot loan number and then when i'm here i'm going to say a car loan dot last name so i will have that last name and i will have this amount right a car loan and what i'm going to do i'm just going to uh, comment that one so now i am inside a car loan in a car loan so this is an object of car loan and then when i'm there i want to have access to loan last name and the amount so this is the first right line that i have and then i want to have the second right line and in this second right line now i want to display the year and the make so i will leave loan number as it is and then here i will say uh, a dot and then one thing that i will look at is the year very good because it's in, it is inside of car loan and when I am there, I will look for, sorry, dot, and I will look for the main. Right. Now, remember the make inside, it's just a string, so you do not need to say this. You can say this on a string. So let's just remove this let's just do this so a car loan dot make so this is what i want to have this is what i want to to display in these two right lines so the first right line will display for me the loan number the last name and the loan amount and then the second one the loan number the year and the make and then remember i'm using a different object here i'm not using uh, the object of a loan i'm using a car loan which is an object of the car loan class and i can run this i can run that and when i run that i will have this information the first right line The first right line, uh, loan for uh, hashtag zero uh, is dead. Now let's check what is happening here. So we have a loan for a car loan dot loan number. Did we set the loan number? Yes. Last name. Did we set the last name? Yes. And then we have uh, the amount loan amount so why do those values not appearing here so we have a car loan 
and we have new carlo so everything is working fine let's just run this second time and now when we run this we uh we are having a problem uh we are having a problem and uh, you might be asking yourself why are we having this problem so the loan for we don't have the number here we don't also have a number and we have a four and we don't have a number there but look at the second one a loan for this for 2005 it's for a ford because the make let me show you the make is a ford and the year it's 2005 so for the first one the data is not displayed let's check a car loan dot make okay now when i come here i did not assign the values of what of loan number and even the last name and i did not even assign the value for the amount so i did not assign that information for a car loan i only assigned that value for a loan in a different class so the object is different here so what i'm going to do is to come here and say a car uh, a car loan okay uh, let me just say okay let me just undo this right let me take this information here cut this information enter and paste this information and then once that information has been pasted there now let me change the object now now i want to say a car loan very good and then here a car loan very good and also a car loan and then everything will work fine now fascinating stuff so let's run this and oh sorry there's there's a mistake let me check where the mistake is the mistake is gone let's run our code and check and when we run the code everything seems to be well and then remember what i did there i set c2 here i set c2 so it will two decimals after the comma very important so i will have loan for 2239 for papa fanzo it's for that loan for this for 2005 is for a ford so everything seems to be working just fine right uh, we have seen how the program works one thing very important we created a loan and a car loan classes and we also created the objects we have dealt with this and we have understood nothing was mysterious everything was working just fine now suppose that the bank adopts new rules as follows now this is a car loan from a bank we are trying to understand this now suppose that the bank adopts new rules as follows now no regular loan will be made for less than 5000 rent no bank loan will be made for less than 5000 rent no car loan will be made for any car older than the model of the year 2006 no car loan will be made for any car older than the model year 2006 although loans might have larger loan numbers uh, 
car loans will have loan numbers that are no more than three digits. If a larger loan number is provided, the program will use only the last three digits for the loan number. Let me repeat this one. Although loans might have larger loan numbers, car loans will have loan numbers uh, that are no more than three digits. If a loan, if a larger loan number is provided, the program will use only the last three digits for the loan number. Very important. Now we want to implement this. We want to implement this based on the conditions that the, the bank now adopts, these new rules. Right. Now, the first thing that we will do, we will go to the loan class. We will go to the loan class. And I know that inside of the loan class, I now have the properties. Right. And when I arrive inside of this loan class, the first thing that I will do, I will add a new constant that represents the minimum loan value. The minimum loan value. Now, remember what I said. I said I will add a constant. So this will be public. Sorry. So when I'm in... I mean here I will have a public this will be a constant and it will be of type double and I will call this the minimum low so I will just call this the minimum low and because it is a constant I will immediately assign it a value of 5000 I know that in the rules they said no regular loan will be made for uh, less than 5,000. So I am declaring a public constant double and I say the minimum loan is equals to 5,000 rent. Now the second thing that I will do, I will add a field for the loan amount why do i do this because the loan amount property will need to use it so i have the loan amount property so what i'm going to do in here i'm going to add a protected double loan amount because the loan amount property will need to use this so i will have a protected I will have a protected double and this will be called the uh, loan amount and this is not a property this is a protected double because the loan amount property will need to use this loan and why does it need to, to use that you will see as we continue now the field is protected so that the car loan objects will be able to access it as well as the loan object this is true we dealt with protected members and we know that they are they are accessible within the family and so on we dealt with all this you can just go and check in our tutorial how we dealt with the protected uh, modifier now, once we have done that, one thing that we are going to do, we are going to replace the two auto-implemented properties for the loan amount. Right. In the loan class, with the standard get and set accessors. So, one thing that we are going to do, we will replace the auto-implemented property for loan amount. We know there it is. Right, inside of the loan class. And then what are we going to do now? What we will do when we replace this loan amount? This is what I'm going to do. 
right let me just say end property all right now that's fine now i know that uh no regular loan will be made for less than five thousand no car loan will be made for any car older than the model 2006 all right uh, and then and then uh, although loans might have a larger loan numbers car loans will have loans numbers that are no more than three digits if a larger loan number is provided the program will use only the last three digits for the loan number okay that is fine so when i'm inside here one thing i will do i will go to my set and i will just say to you let me just do this i will just say end set property right so i will say if if the value that you are trying to assign if that value is less than the minimum loan what is it that i want to transpire i want the low which is what now sorry i want the low i want the loan amount and this is what now this is uh this loan amount let's check uh let's check now this protected member i want the loan amount r to be equals to the minimum okay uh guys let me i will come back just quickly now right guys uh here we are here we are uh here we are right uh what we wanted to do when we are here we wanted to say the loan amount remember uh this loan amount here it is it is a protected member because we want to access this loan amount when we are in this class and also outside of this class so we will say the loan amount <clears throat> We will say the loan amount is equals to the value autocomplete. That is very good. So we are saying if the value that you assign, that value is less than the minimum value, then we are saying the loan amount is equals to the amount that you assign. So that's what we are saying. If you assign a value and that value is less than 5,000 as we have assigned that value, and where did we assign that value let's just go and check very quickly here it is the minimum loan it's five thousand if the value you assign it's less than uh, five thousand then we are saying the loan amount this loan amount it's equals to that value and i know that i will have access to this loan amount when i'm outside of this class this is one most important thing that I'm saying. So this is all that I have to say inside of the set. And then remember, I will have a get and then I will just return. What is it that I am retaining? I am retaining this loan amount. This is the one that I am retaining. Right. So this is very important. When you deal with the property, you can start with a set and then a get after or a get and a set so you you just have to get used to this so we can just interchangeably just wrap them around in this way so you don't always have to say a get you can set the values first and then you can get that value once it has been set this is very very important why we use the set first because we want to set that value before we can get that value very important right that is fine <clears throat> this is just one thing that we have done let me just see if the recording is still continuing very good right now that we have done with that we are done with that so what we are going to do in the car loan class we will go here and then when we are inside of that car loan class, so the first thing that we will do, 
we will just do a few things now when we are in there first of all we are going to have remember in here we have a public year and we have a get and a set that is fine all right so one thing that we are going to do we are just going to get rid of this public year this uh, property and then this auto implemented one we are going to erase it and set the one that we want with uh, restrictions so let me just say end uh, property right and then when we are there one thing inside of uh, the set so i will have uh, a set and one thing i will say so this is just end uh, the set one thing i will say when i am there because remember what i'm trying to do here now the year i want to set some restrictions based on how you assign uh, the year to this load so i want to say uh, if the value that you have assigned if that value remember what i said now i said if uh i said if the value is less okay that was done in the loan class now when i'm in this one what i want to do in that year uh the first thing that i think i should do there is just to say okay uh, if the value that you assign there uh if that value uh, okay let me do this before i can deal with this property let me do this okay let me just leave everything the way it was All right let me just leave things in this way now one thing that i want to do when i am inside of this car loan class i want to have a few members first of all i will have a private it will be a constant and it will be of type int and then it will be uh, the earliest year it will be the earliest year and i will assign it a value of 2006 this will be the earliest year and i will have a private that will be uh, a constant and that will be an int and this will be the lowest this will be uh, the lowest uh, invalid number and uh, i will assign it a value of a thousand so i will have a private constant int the lowest invalid number that is equals to a thousand i will have a private constant in int which will be the earliest year and that will be 2006 right okay that is fine so one thing that i will do uh, once that has been done uh, i have added okay those fields uh that is fine and then i will go to this property here and i will do some restrictions there so the first one i will set and then in this set that i will have one thing that i will say is to say okay uh if i will start first and say uh if the value that you assign is less than the earliest year uh, i want to say um i want to say yeah it's equals to the value that you assign but you can see that this creates a lot of confusion so let me just say set and let me do this in this way so that you can see what is happening i'm saying if uh if the year if the year 
which is uh okay let me say if the value let me say if the value that you assign is less than the earliest year then what is it that i want i want the year to be equals to the value what am i doing here i am trying to follow the restrictions that we have read and then if the year is equals to that value then i want the loan amount the uh this member i want the protected member to be equals to zero if that is true then i will have the else part and uh, in the else part i want year to be equals to the value very good and then that is the set part this is entirely the set part set uh, let me just say end set right that is fine and then i will have a get where i will just return the year now you ask me what is happening here let me read the restrictions for you once again right Suppose the bank adopts new rules as follows. No regular loan will be made for less than 5,000. Right, and then where did we set that restriction? Now listen very carefully. They say to us no regular loan will be made for less than 5,000. I am inside of the loan. And inside of the loan, that's where I have the loan amount. Right. Remember what I did in here. I had properties. The first one was the loan, the last name, and the loan amount. Now, they said no regular loan will be made for less than 5000 So, what I did, I created a field which is a protected double loan amount. Right. Then I modified the property that I had because I had an auto uh, implemented property here, the get and the set. Now, because no regular loan will be made for less than 5,000, I need to make restrictions inside of the loan amount here. Hence, I am therefore saying the set part, because that's where you can create a condition. A get will only get something. You cannot set restrictions inside that. We do that via the set. And I'm saying, if the value that you are assigning to this loan member, that will initialize this protected member. If via the property, if the value that you set is less than the minimum loan, and then remember they said, no regular loan will be made for less than 5,000. So I had a public and it is a constant double and it is the minimum low no regular loan will be made for less than 5000 and i'm saying that value is 5000 but i know you will never get a loan if uh, the loan is made uh, if uh, it is made for less than 5000 so i'm saying the minimum it's 5000 this is making sense no regular loan will be made for less than 5000 so i am declaring a public constant because this is the minimum and then i'm setting the value to 5000 and therefore i'm saying if the value that you are trying to assign via the property member to this uh, protected loan amount if that value is less than the minimum i cannot say okay let me leave it if that value is less than the minimum it's less than 5,000. I'm saying take that value and assign it to the loan amount. This is exactly what I'm saying. I'm saying that value that you assign to this, if that value is less than 5,000, take that value and assign it to loan amount. Assign it to this. Very important. 
and then get just return that loan amount for me i did that inside of what inside of the loan why because it is inside of the loan where i have this auto implemented property which was a get and a set hence i am declaring a protected double inside of the loan and not inside of the car loan because inside of the car loan i do not have that even though I have used inheritance, but I cannot set restrictions inside of car loan. The, the, the amount was not originally set there. Please, let's understand that. The amount was not originally set inside of the car loan. The, uh, the amount, the loan amount was originally set inside of the loan class. Hence, I'm using the loan class to make a modification inside that. And that's where I declare a constant double minimum of 5,000. And I'm saying this is a protected double loan amount. Why am I protecting this? Because you cannot have access to this directly. But you will have access to a protected member via a property. So when the member is protected, it will be made available inside of the class when it is inherited. But during instantiation here, you will never have access to that loan. You will have access to that via a property. And the property will therefore have to go via the process of checking. It will have to go through the process of checking whether you have met the restrictions before it can assign that value. Very important. This is how the great nail will explain things. The great nail will, will explain things in this manner. All right. That was my lecture, by the way. Okay, let's continue in this coding and see exactly uh, what is happening. So I, I just hope and believe that you have uh, uh, understood what is happening. When it came to the first statement that said, no regular loan will be made for less than 5,000. I hope you just understand this. Now, the second uh, 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 rule was, no car loan will be made for any car older than the model year 2006. Now, you are inside of the loan. Do you have any model here? No. You only have the loan number, last name, and the loan amount. Where did we have this model? The model is inside of what now? The model is inside of the car loan. That's where you have the model. You have the make, which is what now? You have the make, very important. And you also had, let's go here. You also had the, let's check, you had the make, you see the model, this is the model, Ford, and you also had the year. Hence, I am doing what now? Hence, I am setting the restrictions on the year on which class the car loan. Hey guys, this is very important. This is very important that we understand what is happening here. And when I am inside the car loan, I am therefore saying because I have the make here. Right. Remember what I declared inside of the car loan. I had an auto implemented property which was here. And I also had the make. So when I was in this class, I declared two fields it is a private constant int which is the earliest year 2006 private constant int lowest invalid number which is a thousand private constant constant int lowest invalid number and i'm setting the value to a thousand Let's go to uh, the modification. No car loan will be made for any car older than the model year. Model year 2006. 
2006. Hence, I am making restrictions on the year because the year is inside of the car loan and I'm setting the restrictions when it comes to year. They said that no car loan will be made for any car older than the model year 2006. And I'm therefore saying, if the value that you are trying to assign to the year via the property, if that value is less than the earliest year, let's go and check the earliest year, 2006. And they said no car loan will be made for any car older than that. So hence I'm using the less here. The value of, uh, value of the year should be less than what now than the earliest year which i have set as a value of 2006 why am i doing that is because uh, no car loan will be made for any car older than the model year it shouldn't be older than that model year of 2006 very important so i'm saying the value is less than earliest year if this condition is true then take the value and assign it to the year and then make the loan amount in this class. The loan amount should be zero because in this class, what is the minimum loan? Because in this class, I have a... Uh, okay, that is the minimum loan. I still have... I don't have the loan amount here. But I don't want you to take the loan amount that is inside of the loan and uh, set that value to the car loan. No, when you set the year based on the restrictions, please go and make the loan amount inside of the car loan make the, very, the value zero. So the value is zero here. So I am, I am overriding the loan amount that is inside of the loan. That is inside of the parent uh, class. Right. And then I'm saying if this is not true, then else take the value that is assigned and set that to a year via a property. If the value is not less than the earliest year which is 2006 it will not go in here it will jump here and it will take that value and set that value to year but if it is then it will do this one and it will not go to that one we dealt with the if else statements you know exactly what is happening then i'm just retaining get return the year via what now via a property because this is a property very good so i am trying to do what now to answer the second one no car loan will be made for any car older than the model year 2006 very important now i go to the third bulletin although loans might have larger loan numbers car loans will have a loan numbers that are no more than three digits if a larger loan number is provided, the program will use only the last three digit of the loan number. All right, that is fine. Okay, this is this is very good. This is very good. So now I need to go and set the restrictions on the loan number now. The last one. Where do I have the loan number? We have the year we have uh we have the make now one most important thing where do i have the loan number here it is i have the loan number inside of the loan class so i'm going to make restrictions on the loan so i'm going to try and modify this get and set on the loan number why because i'm trying to follow the third bulletin it says to me now Although loans might have larger loan numbers, car loans will have loans numbers that are no more than three digits. It should never have a loan number that is more than three digits. If a larger loan number is provided, uh, 
The program will use only the last three digit for the loan number. Ay, Jesus. Ay, sketchy, sketchy. Ay, master, Sima. Right. Here we are now. And we know we know that we need to make modifications on the loan number because we understand exactly what is happening. It is so important that we follow exactly what is happening. All right, we are done with the two, the first two bulleting, and now we are left with the last bulleting now, so that we may have the restrictions uh, all fulfilled. All right, it's fine. So we still have this public. Uh, int loan number that is fine and this loan number this loan number will have to be overridden it will have to be overridden when we are inside the car loan class so I'm going to use an override here or I'm going to use new. Remember, we can say new or we can say override. Override. But I'm going to use the new keyword. I know that I will have to override what? This property. This property will have to be overridden. All right, that is fine. New int loan number, this is what I get. And I will have a get because this is a property. And then in the get now, what is it that I want to do? I want to say, okay, this is fine. This is fine. Nothing is wrong. This is fine. So, I am inside of the loan. Okay. Okay. I'm inside of the loan. So when no, let me not do it inside here. Please, 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 please. Please, 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 please. Let me not do it inside here. Let me have a get and a set. Please. Uh let me not do it inside here. No, no. Right, uh, let me not do it inside here, please. Let me not do it inside here. Right, uh, in this loan class that I have, I have this property, uh, loan number get and set. And I know when I go inside of the car loan, the first occurrence, it's in the loan class. And I know I have inherited that way now inside the car loan. Right. So what is it that I'm going to do inside of this car loan? Now, let me show you. Let me just try to come here. Okay. Let's see. And set. Get and that. So what is this? Let me just go and check and property let me just say end pro part very good so when i'm here allow me to say i have a public int and i i do this i go to loan and i take this copy and paste and I want to show you something so by doing this what do I mean check car loan dot loan number hides the inherited member use the new keyword if hiding was intended of course I intended to do exactly that new so what am I doing inside of this uh, class the car loan I am overriding what now? I am overriding this property here. Because when you are inside the car loan, there has to be some new restrictions that we adhere to. So hence, I am overriding this uh, loan number. 
because the first occurrence of the loan number is inside of the base class, which is the loan. So car loan inherited from loan. So this method, I am overriding this method. I am I am Lord. I am overriding that. So let me end uh, the property now. Very good. I will show you why I have to override this loan number inside of the car class and not inside the loan itself. That is fine. Let's read. Let's read, guys. Reading is very important. Although loans have a larger loan number, I know that the loan number, it's inside of the loan class. But why am I not overriding that? Or why am I not setting the restrictions inside of the loan number? Why do I have to set the restrictions inside of the car loan? This is the question, the most uh, bigger uh, question that we need to answer. Let's go to the, the bulletin. Although loans might have a larger loan number, car loans, please guys, let's listen to this. Car loans will have loan numbers that are no more than three digits. So that is why I have to override this what now this property that is inside of the loan in the car loan because it says although loans i have a loan class although loans might have a larger loan numbers although it might have it so meaning we can accept large numbers inside of the loan class although Loans might have larger loan numbers. They might have larger loan numbers. What? The loans, the loan class might have a larger number. But car loans will have loans that are no more than three digits. So I have to override the base what now? Property inside of the loan, inside of the car loan class. So this is very important that we understand reading very carefully. We must understand the reading very carefully. Right. Uh, loan numbers that are no more than three digits. That is fine. If a larger loan number is provided, the program will use only the last three digits of the loan number. I Right, the first thing that I'm going to do when I am inside of this property loan number is to try and set some restrictions. But before I override this, before I override the base, there are there are some some things that I will need uh, to look at very very important so we have read the restrictions that is fine we are we are more than happy with that so what i'm going to do is to say okay i have this public new because i'm overriding the property that is inside of the loan because car loans will be the ones that will have to adhere to this so i will have a get i will have a get and I will just return what now? I will just return the base dot. And then when you press the dot, you should be have uh, access to the loan number. Remember inside of the get, you cannot set restrictions. You're just getting data. But inside of the set, that's where we can uh, set up whatever that we want. So I can have a set. And now, inside of the set, there is a condition that I need to meet. So, if the value that you are trying to assign, if that value is less than, is less than the lowest invalid number, if that is true, so what I want to have there is to say base dot loan num is equals to the value 
So let me show you something before we can continue with this. Do I have the lowest invalid number? Yes. So I have two. Uh, I have a two uh, new fields that I have declared. You saw how I declared those two new values, but you did not know the reasons why. Now I am providing you with reasons. Inside of this class, the car loan, I declared new two fields. And I said this is private constant int earliest year 2006. Private constant int lowest invalid number, it's a thousand. So I'm therefore saying if now what are we talking about here? The loan number. If the value that you are signing to the loan number property via inheritance because this is a return base. What is the base? It will call the property inside of this class. Return base dot loan number. If that value that you are assigning to the loan number, if that value is less than the invalid number, which is a thousand, then base dot loan number is equals to the value. This is exactly what we are saying. So this is the if statement that I have and I will have the else. Else I will say base dot loan number base dot loan number is now equals to the value mod lowest invalid number and then i will be done my game what are you saying here i'm saying okay this is uh the loan number let me take you back Although loan, loans might have a larger loan number, car loans will have loans numbers that are no more than three digits. So a loan number should never have a, a loan number that has more than uh, three digits. If a larger loan number is provided, the program will use only the last three digits of the loan number. This is very, very important. So I am saying, this is a private constant. This will not change. The private constant int, and I'm saying this is the lowest invalid number, which is a thousand. I'm therefore saying, if this condition is true, if the value that you are trying to assign is less than a thousand, why a thousand? Remember they said now, remember they said, Car loans will have loan numbers that are no more than three digits. So I'm having four digits here and it's a thousand. And I know that a number that has uh, a, 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 a loan number which has no more than three digits. Therefore, I'm initializing the lowest invalid number as a thousand. Because only the numbers that are less than thousand have three digits. I sketch, I sketch. I, 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 my cab. I know that only uh, 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 loan numbers that have uh, values that are less than, uh, that should have not more than three digits, it has to be uh, less than a thousand. Hence, I'm saying I have a private constant int and the lowest invalid number is a thousand. And I'm using the less here. I'm saying if your value is less than a thousand, which will be three digits. Only 999 is less than 8,000. So I'm forcing you by saying the value should be less than the lowest invalid number. I'm, I, I'm trying to fulfill the third bulletin. Car loans will have loan numbers that are no more than three digits. Very important. I have to have this lowest invalid number so that I can make a check with it so that the value that you are assigning, I can be sure that it has three digits very important right after that if a larger loan number is provided if you provide a larger loan number that is bigger than a thousand 
the program will use only the last three digits of the loan number. Now I'm going to account for that one. Now I'm going to account for that one. In the else now, that's where now I account to that one. To which one, Makeba, Mlochwa? To the one that says, if a larger loan number, which is this one, if you did not assign a value that is less than a thousand, that means you provided a value that is greater than a thousand and the value is no longer having three digits now, but four digits. Now, if that is so, what am I going to do? Right. If a larger loan number is provided, the program will use only the last three digits of the loan number. Only the last three digits. In this case, it will be one zero zero. So, suppose you enter a number 2000, and then I'm trying to make a calculation here, sorry, here. I am saying if that value you have assigned is greater than 1000, that value, or that value is equals to 1000 in this case, we are saying that loan number will be equals to the value that is maybe a thousand, two thousand, and so on. Take the modulus of the lowest invalid number. So what it will do, it will take that number which is a thousand. It will take that value of yours which is a thousand. It will divide that by a thousand. And then it will only take the remainder. This is exactly what I'm saying here. I am saying... Take that value, 1,000, divide that value by the lowest invalid number, which is 1,000. So 1,000 divided by 1,000 will give you a 1, and the remainder is 0. And it will assign that 0 to the loan number. This is exactly what I'm saying. I am saying exactly that. Okay, that is fine. Let's go to this base where I have a loan number. Here it is. And there are no restrictions in here. Right. That is fine. Everything is good. We are here. So I think I have fulfilled all the criteria that are needed. I think I have fulfilled uh, all the criteria that were, were needed. Right. That is fine. That is fine. And then uh, we can we can go and try to just run this and see exactly what will happen. It's fine. We can just go and check if everything will work out uh, the way in which we we want it. That is fine. So uh, let's go and check. Let us just go and check if things will happen uh, the way in which we want. So I will go to a program here. And uh, what will I do when I am here? Uh, let me just uh, do the following. Uh, I don't want to add constructors and everything into this. But I think... Uh, for interest sake we might we might want to do that now uh i think we can just go and uh, let's just add a constructor okay let's just go to uh, the loan class and let's just have a constructor man. let's just have a constructor in here so that we can just construct our object Remember, the constructors will always be uh, public. They will have the same name as the name of the class. And let me just have a constructor here. And uh, this constructor that I have uh, will accept int uh, a number, a string, a name, and uh, a double an uh, amount very good so let's just say this is my constructor 
and then i will initialize that uh, i will say the loan number is just equals to the noun so i'm not going to use the this keyword here the last name will be equals to the name and i'm just going to say the loan amount this one the loan amount will be equals to the amount so i'm just initializing my constructor when you create the object of this loan so that is fine i can also go to the car loan just to construct everything i can just have a constructor in here it must be public it must have the same name as a class uh, car loan and uh, i can have this int i can have this num i can have the string i'm going to use inheritance in here uh i have uh let me just have a name uh i double uh the amount uh, let me have an int which is a year because i have a year inside of car loan and uh a string i have also a make and this is to say i'm using inheritance i will call in the constructor of the base it has a num it has the name the constructor of the base and it also has an amount go and check so the constructor of the base has num name and amount so they are passed in here num name and the amount and then i just initialize those two that i have inside of the car loan which is a year and then that will be sorry a, a year via the constructor equals to the year oh sorry equals to the year that was passed in and then uh, make that is equals to that thank you very much and then my constructor is fine <coughs> everything is working very well in fact i want to note something here we, we we didn't make a tutorial where we deal with uh inheritance where you have to use the uh the constructor of the base and so on i think i still need to go back and show you what is happening here you might be lost what is happening here but i i assure you that i will create a tutorial that will be able to explain and help us as to what is happening above there okay that is fine so i have just uh initialized everything that is just needed so i can just go to the main I can go to the main and I can just uh, let me just do this should I need it so that I, it is uh, very near so let me just do this uh, let me just do this and let's check what is happening all right that is fine everything is good so i know when i create a car loan it will it will complain because it requires the parameters num name and amount so what i'm going to pass in for the num i'm going to say uh double three and then uh for the name i will say uh hansen sorry and for the amount i will say uh, maybe seven thousand very good that is fine it's no longer complaining and i will go to the car loan and i will just call this a car a car loan is equals to new uh uh 
Cologne, this one. And then when I am here, I know that, oh, there's a problem. New Cologne, there it is. And then I know it requires how many arguments? One, two, three, four, five. So I will just say uh, triple four uh, for the string. I will say it's a castle. And then Okay, let me just say Liesel Liesel Okay, that is fine And I will say the amount Maybe let's make the amount 30,000 And uh, Let's just say the year It's 2011 And lastly uh the uh make will be the bmw and everything is fine now no complaints and then once that has been done i have just initialized my constructors and then what is it that i can i can do now i can go to a loan and when I press the dot here, uh, I have uh, this uh, last name, loan amount, loan number. These are the three constructors that I have. Right, so I can just come here and have a right line. And I can just say a loan, a loan dot last name. It is a constructor and it will display the last name for me. I can do the very same thing with maybe uh, I can have a right line for the uh, a car loan dot and I can have this the make the everything. Uh, these ones the year and so on and it will print those values as I have on the screen and you can verify whether the restrictions are being met or not so this is just basically something very important that I wanted us to do to understand and once that is done I am very grateful guys beyond measure and I will now see you in the next tutorial